When the Egyptians were afraid long time ago in the days of old, Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go. Moses said to Pharaoh, send my family free right down to the pattern of the sea. He would take them to a land of milk and honey. What you just seen there was the story of the Irish, the Malaysians who were sent to Ireland. To all intents and purposes, it was a land of milk and honey. See milk and honey. All the verses in the Bible about milk and honey, honey, butter and honey, milk and honey. Ireland had cow laws. King Callaghan raided cattle. It was called the Creech. It was an act. He was the main man. It was how he kept people from being dishonourable. <coughs> honey kills bacteria. Bacteria is death. A lot of bacteria is multiplying. They have taken many forms. The whole world is chasing after them. The wages of sin is death. And there we have sea milk and honey into the um, For the Lord said to Moses unto to say unto the children of Israel, Ye are a stiff necked people that will come into the midst of thee in a moment and consume thee. Therefore, now put the ornament on. Um, and he brought you to his place and that he give it the land, a land flowing with milk and honey. There's a bulldog ant. Consider, Jesus says, consider the ant. There's an ant that makes honey. The bulldog ant has the most strongest bacteria, or most strongest antibiotic in the world. Ten times stronger than any antibiotic that the pharmaceuticals had. 10 years ago, I don't know about now, I haven't looked at them in a while. But the bulldog ant sprays antibiotics and it kills flesh eating bacteria. It's fierce. It's like a little warrior angel. A warrior angel ant. So, what it does is it sprays antibiotics. Now, there's the rock on the high tower and the rock at Cashel. Now, the king that lived there was King Callahan. He won that all the boy kings, there's the rock, there's the high tower, but they built all this in the background, but basically in Callahan's time you would have seen that high tower, the rock, you wouldn't have seen any of these graves, and you would have seen um, whatever habitat, whatever, probably a roundhouse or something, something like that, maybe not, maybe something more sophisticated, but you would have seen loads of bees and loads of cows and loads of milk and honey, <coughs> you would have seen the friendly bacteria from the yogurts. Now, when they make the king's meat in the um, Song of Songs, they use, which is the song of, uh, it's in the book, it's, it's a beautiful poem about the moral woman, postly written by the Queen of Sheba, but I don't know. And it's about herbs, and it's about the herb garden. He is, his cheeks are like a garden of spices, we give enough fragrance, his cheeks are like a bed of bosom, banks to sweet scented herbs, his lips drip with myrrh or something. This is all the song. These are all the things which are in the Bible which you need. So there was a hundred and three hundred and twenty-four books in the Council of Nicaea, and he left Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Now God only knows what them books were about because the Roman Emperor at the time, Constantine, and successive Roman emperors after that burned all the books. Patrick burned a hundred and eighty books in Ireland. Hebrew books. Now there's mead. You need to make mead with loads of honey and loads of her and herbs. My ancestor was the king of mead. Well, loads of my ancestors were kings. The oldest line of kings in Europe. So, and the age of Breton law on the bees stated that a bumma bee, there you go, there's loads of laws on bees. So it, so it stands the reason that if you have a land of milk and honey, and a rock and a high tower, they're going to need bee laws, you're going to need honey. But micro, that kill microwaves and bacteria, we are, this was his, we are legions, we are many. Now the victorious career of King Callahan, there you go. He perfected the art of the creature which was stealing the cattle, but they'd call it the art of the creature, but it's the, the honor price. You get lost your honor price for four generations if you didn't uphold the Gallic faith of sacred unity, 
Christian teachings, which is the mother's law, combined with the father's teachings and law to, to preserve humanity. Now this is all falling apart and it's been destroyed. So at this point in time, we haven't got much of that. So we have microwaves, bacteria, mirror magic, all of these stuff. When we should be having bee gardens and stuff like that. The rocket castle, you see the rocket castle? That's one of the most fertile plains in Europe. You can see it there, it's quite large. I propose turning that into a bee garden and a sanctuary and a wildlife sanctuary all across that plain and renovating the rock of Kasha to establish the, he the Hebrew people, the descendants of the kings, the sons of Mil. So you need like my Facebook page is crashed so I can't post it on my Facebook page because something happened to him when I put up this information so I had like Michael the Archangel fought his way down to the earth to take up 21 days agenda 21 had to bop his way through to change the mind him and um, another angel that couldn't make it so they brought Michael in back up and he made it through and then the the Babylonian Empire became the Hebrew Empire because God was elevated above all the other gods in Babylon. In the king of Persia, um, what's his name? he used to burn people in a fire, in a furnace. And the an angel went in and took four, um, four Hebrew, uh, Hebrews out of the furnace in front of the king. So Bible verses. There's um, 26 Bible verses there, look, Bible verses about honey. Consider the ant. So I can't go on to Facebook anymore because they crashed out on me. The Facebook page is gone. So I can't see what she is brewing the drink. There's the maid, yeah, that's what you need. No one has any excuse to say they didn't know. Or they weren't aware. Or they weren't warned. I'll show you. I warned you. There's one I want you. I want you in 2008. On the rock, on the hill, I tire it. I gave an interview. That's all there is to it. 